Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? This video is being made for you to help me out. So it's not going to have any solutions in here for problems that may arise, but it's going to have ways that you can help me debug with you how to solve your problem. So let's go ahead, jump into some troubleshooting. OK, if you leave a comment on my YouTube video, most likely I'm going to tell you to do this first. So go ahead, open a command prompt, CMD. What you're going to want to search, um, there are a couple of things that you want to do first. For example, if a video isn't opening in MPV, what I like to do is just use the command prompt to open MPV. So first type MPV. If you don't get any of this stuff, that means you need to add MPV to your environment variables. Same thing with YouTube DLP, YouTube DL and FFmpeg. If you search any of those commands up and you get an error message like this, is not recognized as an internal and external command, you need to add it to your path variables. To do that, go ahead and go to your search bar, type in system variables, edit system environment variables, click environment variables, and then you want to go into your path, edit, and then you want to edit and you and then you want to add where this program is. So most likely the program, if you follow my videos, is going to be in your programs file. So go ahead, open a file browser. In your file browser, go to your C drive. Then you want to go into your program files. This is where your files should be. So what you're going to be at, so you're going to have all these right here. Um, you want to find the path for the folder. So for example, this is going to be an example for one of them, but make sure you do it for all of them if you have those installed. I'm going to do it for MPV. So to do that for MPV, what I'm going to do is double click into the file. I'm going to go up to the search bar up here or the address bar, right click on MPV, copy address, and then I'll go back into my environment variables screen, go to new and then just paste, copy and paste. And that's going to be your path for the command. So now MPV is all good to go. and you can start troubleshooting from there. If you find that it's still not working, make sure you close out all the command prompts and open up a new command prompt as well as restart your computer if it doesn't work after that. Okay, now that everything is in your environment variables, let's go ahead and go to the next step. You wanna create an output log for the MPV, uh, for your MPV. So go ahead, open a file explorer, go ahead, type in app data percent, and then you wanna go down to your MPV folder and then you wanna go into your mpv.configuration. The key line is going to be this one right here. So uh, what you need to type in is log dash file equal. And then the way that you find your path here, um, I'm going to make it really simple and let's just put it on the desktop. So go ahead and right click on the desktop. Go ahead and click new. Go ahead and click text document. Type in log and then go ahead, click enter. Now that you have a log dot text in here, you want to go ahead and go into properties. Then you want to copy location. In your case, it'll be something like this. Paste. And then you want to do a forward slash. Copy the name of it. Paste. Done. That's what you need for the log file to output when you watch MPV. This is one thing that I might ask for if you're in the Discord group chat. Um, as it makes a little bit, it makes it a little bit easier to troubleshoot what's going on in MPV. For example, all of the um, output from the console for MPV goes into here and that is that. Okay, and lastly, one thing that happens a lot is people drag in things to MPV and it crashes. So I'm gonna show you it crashing. I'm gonna drag a video into MPV and it's going to crash. We don't know what happened, so that kind of sucks. The easiest way to kind of debug what may or may not be happening is go ahead, type in MPV in the command prompt. Once again, you want to have a command prompt window open. I will probably ask for you to do this if you come and ask me questions. Go ahead, copy the link of the video you're trying to open. Just right click it in the browser and then paste it after you type in MPV. So it should be MPV and then the link. We're going to go ahead and press enter. And then it's going to tell me that an error has occurred blah, blah, blah. And then from there, we can go ahead and look at the logs, go from there. But this is kind of the first step to do first because you might, it might give you some additional things. In this case, I know for a fact that my cookies file is messed up. So if I go ahead and redo my cookies file to where it's correct, now that my cookies file is correct, if I go ahead and drag this, oops, if I go ahead and type uh, the previous command, 
and re enter, it's going to open the video in MPV. And you can tell that it's already taking a little bit of time to open something or to operate, and here it is. Boom. So you'll see that all of this came out, and I was able to open it in MPV. Once again, as well, if I go ahead and open MPV here, drag and drop, I'm going to know for sure that it does work. And in fact, this is going to open up the same video that I've been trying. And that is that. And then just some other things you should know. If you go into MPV and you press the tilde in the top left corner of your keyboard, the MPV console appears. And anything that is not working will appear in this console. You can go ahead and exit out of the console by pressing escape. And then um, that should be that for finding out a little thing. So uh, for example, this, it can't load the script here because it's not zip. But if you have anything else wrong in your configuration files or your MPV, those things may appear here as well. One more thing with MPV, just a random little note here. I know some people have had problems with MPVacious, another script used for um, sentence mining. And for example, if you try to go into MPV by pressing A, nothing's going to appear. And you can see that no key binding found for A. So that doesn't mean that your MPV is broken. That just means that you don't have a video playing. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and drag the anime that I was just playing in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and press A and MPV works um, as normal. So as you can tell, it only works when you have a video playing. So don't be scared if, if MPV is, if MPVacious is not working when you press A, when you open up a blank MPV. And that's the end of this video, but might not be the end of your problem. So go ahead, hop in the discord down below in the description and we'll help further troubleshoot there. So see you there.